Trust your first impression. What's the first thing that you see in your mind's eye? Beach. Beach, beautiful. Describe this beach for me. What does it look like? Sand is black and speckled, mm -hmm. crystally. Mm -hmm. Palm trees. The water is very calm. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's like dusk time. And as the observer of this beach, take a look at your feet. Do you have any feet from this position? Look human. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What do mm. they look like? They look big. Mm-hmm. Big feet. What color are they? Pink. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to observe your legs. What do they look like? Hairy, mm -hmm. but not super hairy, just you can still see the skin. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue up the body. Let's see how you look. What do you see? Hairy chest. Mm -hmm. Dark curly hair. Mm -hmm. Beard. He's wearing some kind of necklace. Mm -hmm. Like shark teeth or something. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing any clothes? I think so. Mm -hmm. Small. Something small? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fur, maybe. Mm -hmm. So look at your hands and tell me what your hands look like. Very hairy. Mm -hmm. but I could see the skin. How many fingers do you have? Just your impressions. I think five. Mm -hmm. Are there anything in anything in your hands? The left hand has something, but I can't tell what it is. Mm -hmm. So I want you to shift into your knowing, not into your logical mind, but just know what it is that you're holding. What is that? Looks like some kind of blade, maybe. Mm -hmm. So now that you understand what you look like, I want you to feel yourself. How old do you feel there? Are you young, old, middle-aged? Middle-aged. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it is that you're doing on this beach today me along and tell me what it is that you do there. He's just walking. Mm -hmm. All right. So feel the your feet as they walk. Allow yourself to see through those eyes. Feel the feeling of that body. And describe to me everything. Just feel bulky. Mm -hmm. You can feel the sand soft. Mm -hmm. Just walking along the water. Is there anything that you focus on? I see fish. Mm -hmm. I see fish. Where do you see these fish? They're jumping out of the water. Mm -hmm. And when you see this, how does that make you feel? 
Abby. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close this scene now. And let's go see where it is that you live in this lifetime. Close the scene and now see yourself in front of the place where you live. Be there now. It's like a small hut. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. It's like a dome with an arch entrance. Mm -hmm. It's got like a little sleeping area. Mm -hmm. Some tools around. Mm -hmm. What kind of tools do you see? Like a spear, maybe? Mm hmm. Rocks. Anything else that catches your eye inside of this place? Maybe a fireplace? Mm hmm. Inside? Yeah, like towards the back. Mm hmm. Very good. Do you sense that there's anybody there with you? I don't think so. All right. So let's close this scene. And I'd like for you now to go to a time when you're eating a meal. Be there now. And tell me where you are. I see a fish, mm -hmm. fish head. Where is it that you're eating this fish head? Are you indoors or outdoors? I think outside. Mm -hmm. As you look at this fish, is this fish raw or is it cooked? I think it's cooked, but I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Take a bite into it and see. I think it's cooked. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you're eating? Some kind of berries, maybe? Mm -hmm. A red. Red berries, very good. Are you by yourself there or is someone with you? Look around you. I think I'm by myself. I can't see anyone. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. All right. Is there anything else interesting around you? Take a look. Just see trees. Mm -hmm. Nothing really around. Okay. So I'd like for you now to close this scene and let's go to a, an event in that lifetime when something important happened. Something important is happening now. Be there now. Where are you? Look around you. What do you experience? Is some kind of animal there? Mm-hmm. Is the animal alive? Yeah, like a cat. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Looks like a tan, like puma or something. Mm-hmm. Maybe stripes? Can't tell. Where do you see this cat? Look at the surroundings. The outskirts. Mm -hmm. What is the occasion of seeing this cat? What's happening? 
I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's threatening me. I just see it. Mm -hmm. It's like staring at me. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like for you to do is connect with this cat now telepathically. The cat's thoughts will be your thoughts. And you can connect. What are you receiving from this cat? Do you know each other? I think so. Mm -hmm. How does that cat make you feel? Good. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine this is? Is this a friendship of yours? I think so. Mm -hmm. I feel much love. Mm -hmm. Feel it. What is this cat expressing? It's got, it's got yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's a female. What does she tell you? I don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Feel it in your emotions. What emotions do you feel from her? Love. Mm, very good. So I'd like for you to just take that love and just memorize it into your memory, into every cell. Feel it. It's unconditional love. Feels really good. Mm -hmm. Allow your whole body to feel this love. No boundaries, no conditions, just love. Soak it in. Receive this gift. And now I'd like for you to see if there's anything else from this scene that's important. I don't see anything else. Very good. So let's close this scene now and let's move to the next important event in your lifetime there. Let's see what's happening next that has impacted your life. Be there now. Where are you? I don't see anything different. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in the same place. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's important about this place. See it from a different perspective now. Let's look around. What's happening there? Oh, maybe there's a volcanic eruption. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Some kind of eruption. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this eruption? In the distance. Mm -hmm. It's loud. What happens? Describe it as it happens. I just see the clouds coming down. Mm -hmm. Coming towards me. Mm -hmm. Nothing you can do. What happens next? I 
can't really tell, but I'm guessing it got me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to release yourself from that body. Allow yourself to release. And you can see that lifetime from a different perspective. Every lifetime have a, has a purpose and has a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Just to be free. Mm -hmm. Turn with nature. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything? I love freedom. Mm -hmm. I love nature, animals. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for your soul to continue on its path. Leave that life behind. And let's go moving in forward into time and space. To another time and another place. To the next important lifetime that has information for you. Allow yourself to be there now. I feel like I'm in the 1800s somewhere. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What do you see? A carriage. Mm -hmm. People wearing like the weird clothes. Mm -hmm. I'm in some kind of city. As the observer of this scene, tell me. If you have a body there. Focus on your feet. I see shoes. Mm-hmm. Are they male or female shoes? Male. Mm-hmm. Acclimate yourself completely into that body now. See through the eyes of that body. And tell me how you're dressed. Some kind of suit. A hat, orange beard. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your form. What do you look like? Just a man. Mm -hmm. Look at your hands and see, are you carrying anything? Maybe like a cane? Mm -hmm. Or like a staff or something? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Thirties. Very good. So what is it that you're doing there today? On the street? I don't know. Let's find out. I'd like for you to begin looking around. Let's see where you go. Stores. Mm -hmm. Describe everything you see as you go along. Yeah, like those old shops with the window with the stain. Mm -hmm. So as you go by the shops, take a look and see what kind of shops they are. Describe them for me. See if you can read anything. See like a fruit stand? Mm -hmm. Do you see anybody? Mm. I think there's people there. Mm -hmm. Now as you're walking along the street, you'll know a little bit more about yourself. What do you feel that it is that you do for your living? Maybe a banker? Mm -hmm. I think I'm in London. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to continue and let's see where it is that you work. I 
can't see it. I don't want you to see it. I want you to know it. Allow yourself to be there now. Some kind of bank. Mm -hmm. Allow the images to come and see yourself working. Look down. It's very fancy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's like some kind of green and bronze decoration. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. What do you do there? What's your responsibility? You'll just know. Guess I give people money. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's funny, I'm like a typical like fat banker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're wearing that top hat. People look up to. Mm -hmm. I got status. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to listen for your name. What do people call you? John. Mm -hmm. How old are you, John? I think 34. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been working at this bank? Ten years. Mm -hmm. Did you know anyone to get into this bank? I feel like it was father. Mm -hmm. This is your father's bank? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So it's always been in your family. It's a family business. It's a family business. Very good. So now, John, I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to a significant event in that lifetime. Be there now. Getting married. Mm -hmm. Describe to me what your bride looks like. She's brunette. Mm -hmm. Pale skin. And red lipstick. Mm -hmm. Take a Very look. pretty. Pretty. Take a look at her eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes in someone of the lifetime of Joe? They seem familiar. I think it's my wife now. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close this scene and let's move forward to another significant event in this lifetime. Be there now. Birth. Mm -hmm. Boy. Tell me more. I think he has blondish hair. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Take a look around you. I feel like I'm in a big house. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of windows. Mm -hmm. There's servants, people helping out. Mm -hmm. It's like an estate. And how do you treat your servants? I think I treat them well. Mm -hmm. How do they react to you? They like me. Very good. 
So what's happening right now? Take a look at this scene and tell me what you see. I just feel like there's a, a lot of people just in the room mm -hmm. looking at the kid. And I want you to go ahead and take a look at this baby. And you will recognize this soul, if you know this soul in this lifetime, of Joe. Do you recognize this soul? Not sure. Okay, very good. Is there anything else important about this scene? No, I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> so I'd like for you to close this scene, and now let's move forward in time and space to another important event in that lifetime. Something that impacted your life. Where are you? What's happening? I feel like I'm in a bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you, John? 65. Mm -hmm. Why are you in bed? I think I'm dying of something. Mm -hmm. Is anyone around you? My wife, my son, mm -hmm. some people. I don't know. What is it that's going through your mind as you're lying there? Is that a good life? Mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to move forward now to your last breath in that lifetime. Take your last breath and release yourself from that body. And tell me what happens as you release from that body. What do you see or experience? See like a big white screen or something. Mm -hmm. A big white screen. Tell me more. There's people around. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel them. Who are these people? They don't look human. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? They like brown. Mm -hmm. Got long features. Very alien looking. Mm-hmm. Connect with them telepathically. They dress in robes. Mm-hmm. Their eyes are yellow. Mm -hmm. Like slits. I don't think they're bad. Mm -hmm. They're wise. What do they tell you? I can't tell. So I'd like for you to use your knowing. And let's find out where it is that you are. Allow the scene to just emerge and see where it is, this place that you are. Where have you gone? Looks like some kind of space station. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. It's big. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to see it from the outside. Expand yourself out. It's like domed oval. Mm -hmm. Like projections with more ovals on it. Mm -hmm. 
It's white. It's got glass. It glows. Mm-hmm. It's really big. So allow yourself now to go inside. And as you go inside of this space station, I'd like for you to focus on your own body and tell me what you look like on the inside of this space station. I feel like I have three fingers. Mm-hmm. If you call them fingers. Mm-hmm. What color are they? I like brown. Mm-hmm. Tan brown. What about the rest of your hand? What does it look like? It's like a hand, but it's just got three fingers. Mm-hmm. So let's look up the arm. It's a skinny arm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Describe your body. to see. Mm -hmm. You don't need to see. You know what your body looks like. Three toes. Mm -hmm. I can't make out the shape of the head, mm -hmm. but it's got those eyes. It's kind of like, almost like the guy from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Similar, but not the same. Mm-hmm with a squiggly head. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body. Are you wearing anything? It's some kind of... It's like what the other guy was wearing. Some kind of robe. It's like... Do you feel male or female? Do you have a gender? I think male, but I, I might just be guessing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see what it is that you need to do in this space station. What are you doing there with these others? It seems like they're monitoring the Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's find out the purpose of this monitoring. What is the reason that you're monitoring the Earth? Keep it healthy. Mm -hmm. How is it that you keep it healthy? It's getting out of the beam energy to it. You're beaming energy to it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of energy do you use? source. Mm -hmm. Why is it that the earth needs this energy to be beamed by you? It just needs assistance. Mm -hmm. Is something happening on earth? get it through all the changes. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any particular responsibility to Earth or on this mission? Keep seeing the word guardian. Mm -hmm. You're a guardian of the earth? I think so. Mm -hmm. So let's go deeper into this. I'd like for you to take a deep breath in and allow yourself to go deeper and deeper to sleep, allowing you to access this information directly. 
knowing what it is that you do for Earth. What is your role? We help protect against negative energies. Mm -hmm. I could destroy it. Tell me more about this. I guess in the past, all the planets have been destroyed mm -hmm. through all the negativity. And we don't want it to happen here. What is special about Earth that needs to be saved from the negativity? She's ascending. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about what this means, ascending? Just raising a frequency. Mm -hmm. And when a planet raises its frequency, is it fragile? It's a delicate process. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Especially with a lot of negativity from all the people. Mm -hmm. Especially to try to help the people without causing problems. So as, how is it that you as a group in the space station is helping with all this negativity? Well, the beaming the light is one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm getting that I guess people go down Take lives mm -hmm. And help raise the frequency mm -hmm. that way All right So let's find out more about your own personal role on earth What decisions you've made What contracts you've made with Earth? Have you decided to take a life there? I think I've done one many. Mm -hmm. Now when you take a life on Earth, do you still remain on that space station in one way or another? I feel as if a part of me does. Mm -hmm. And a part of me goes down. Okay. So I'd like for you now to go to the time where you made a decision to come down as a lifetime of Joe. I'd like for you now to be in that moment of planning for this lifetime. Be there now. And tell me what's happening. There's a table. Mm -hmm. Maybe a council. Mm -hmm. What do you see or experience there? There's a lot of people around this table. Mm -hmm. How many do you imagine are there? Twelve, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are you one of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're discussing at this table today? Not sure, I guess. About coming down, maybe? Mm -hmm. You'll know it. Listen in. Everything is done telepathically. Yeah, no one talks. Everyone's just... Mm -hmm. You just know. Know what it is that's happening. Their thoughts will be yours instantaneously. See the entire picture. I guess it's my turn. Mm -hmm. 
have you chosen to do this? And we all volunteer. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of this lifetime that you're volunteering for now? Help raise the frequency of the planet. Mm -hmm. Beaming up the energy. So what skills do you have that will help with this? I have the frequencies. Mm -hmm. Help awaken other people. Mm -hmm. Help the earth. So let's see if you decide which family it is that you go to. The ones that will be in the lifetime of Joe. I see them looking into some kind of machine. Mm -hmm. It's like a... It's almost like a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. I guess they can, you could pick that way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you pick it or is it picked for you? I'm not sure. Allow yourself to know. See the process as it happens. I think we all pick. Mm -hmm. It's like a collective. Mm -hmm. Are you part of this collective? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the reason that the family was chosen and with which the soul will be born into? One, I'm getting a location is one. Mm -hmm. I guess it's important where we all incarnate mm -hmm. to help the earth in certain areas. Mm -hmm. What is it about that location that you need to help with? It's a lot of negativity there. Mm -hmm. A lot of bad things. And how will you be affecting this area? Seeing like a, it's like I'm a light, mm -hmm. just penetrating all the dark, expanding. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, what, what else do you see? It's just like a light that just keeps going, getting brighter and brighter, mm -hmm. going, expanding. All right, went out. Do you see what that light does as it expands? Project it out. Just it dissolves all the negativity. Mm -hmm. It's like the antidote. Very good. So let's take a look and see if any of the ones that will be in the lifetime of Joseph will be, have been chosen. Let's see the souls that will be going with him. Are there any that volunteer to go with you? Yeah, I think there's a lot. Mm -hmm. Are they from your own ship? Take a look. I'm getting that there's different all over. Mm -hmm. They volunteered. Mm -hmm. Do you connect with these others in any way? I 
feel like they're from all over the place. Mm -hmm. But we all have the same purpose. Mm -hmm. We all want the same thing. Very good. So I'd like for you now to close that scene. And now let's go to the moment before you were born into this body. And let's see if you have any advice that is given to you before you leave. Stay positive. Don't give in. Not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Don't let the negative thoughts take over. Don't worry. It's unnecessary. Waste. Let's see if anybody has volunteered to go with you as your personal guide. Take a look around. Getting sand dolphin. What is it? Sand dolphin. Mm. An angel. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's more, but I, mm -hmm. I don't know who they are. All right. Do you feel them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to see the process of coming into this lifetime. What happens next? I'm born. Mm -hmm. Confused. It's kind of like a shock. Mm -hmm. You can see all the lights. Mm -hmm. Look around you and see if any of your guides are with you. I think they're there. Mm -hmm. Just observing. Mm -hmm. As you're born into this new body, is there anything that you observe or you feel from those around you? Feel they're happy. Mm -hmm. Good. Your mission has begun. Very good. So now let's close that scene. Allow yourself now to drift through time and space. And let's find out a little bit about your dreams. I'd like for you now to go to that moment in time when you dreamed you were with a group of small childlike beings with big eyes and they showed you a portal and you stepped through. I'd like for you to go to that moment now. I feel like they're Arcturians. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. That's just like five of them. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? It's hard to tell. They look like kids, but they're not kids. Mm -hmm. They're small. They have big eyes. Mm -hmm. So look around you and tell me where it is that you are. It's got to be some kind of ship. Mm -hmm. 
expand your awareness out beyond the place so that you can see exactly where you are. It's a big round ship. Mm-hmm. Like dark gray. Mm-hmm. I see. Describe everything about it. It's got weird curves. It's not like a it's not like a spaceship that you'd think about. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm-hmm. It's got like some energy bars around it going around the rim. It's weird shaped. That's big. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to go into the ship <clears throat> and tell me what you see inside. See a lot of rooms, mm -hmm. a lot of equipment, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very advanced. What is the purpose of you being on this ship today? What do these Arcturians want to show you? I think they're trying to like help me in some way. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to connect with them telepathically. Let's see. I kind of feel like it's almost like a doctor's visit. Mm -hmm. Maybe they had to fix something. Okay. Let's find out what they fixed. I'd like for you now to go to the moment where they fixed it. Where are you? I guess that's when I stepped through that portal thing, I guess. Maybe it did something to my energy? Mm-hmm. What, what is it that your energy needed assistance with? What did they have to fix? I would have to, like, calibrate it or something. Okay, very good. I was too... It was too much energy. So I was generating too much or something. Okay, good. Yeah, they had to fix it. Mm-hmm. Now, when they fix it, did they put anything inside of your body? Take a look. Scan your body and see. Was there anything that was put into your body? I feel like something in my knee, maybe. Take a look. Go, Looks. go deeper into it. It's like a... square mm -hmm. with a triangle top, mm -hmm. round circles are each of the points. Mm -hmm. It's like a sacred geometrical shape. Is this in one knee or both? I feel like it's in both because it needs to balance the energy out. Mm -hmm. Did you agree to have this put into your body? I think so. Mm -hmm. Are you able to feel the energy from this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of it? I feel like it's... It's toning it down a little bit, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe... Make it a little smoother. Yes. You know, as you know, as the energy comes up through my feet, it's like it can't, it doesn't, it's, so it's not too powerful. So it regulates the energy? It's like a regulator, I guess you could mm -hmm. say. Very good, very good. I don't know if I'll need it forever, but I guess it was to help me. Good. Good. Is there anything else that you need to know from this visit with the Arcturians? No, that's it. All right. So I'd like for you now to close that scene. Allow yourself to close that scene. And now go to that place where there is a school out in space in Tau City. Allow yourself now to be in that place.
acclimate yourself to it and tell me what you see around you. It's another type of ship. Mm-hmm. It's not really, it's more like a, like a, it's like a world ship. Mm-hmm. Tell me what that means. It's like people live there. Mm-hmm. But it's like a planet, but it's a, but it's artificial. Okay. So I'd like for you to expand yourself out so you could view this and tell me what it looks like from the outside. Kind of looks like a space station, too. Mm-hmm. It looks metallic, maybe. It's hard to see. But it's, 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 it's big, uh-huh. and there's a, there's a lot inside it. All right, let's find out what it is inside. Allow yourself to be on the inside, in the appropriate yeah. place. They have everything in there. Mm-hmm. Tell me what that means, everything. Schools, mm-hmm. trees. They have oceans in there. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a, it's like a world. Mm-hmm. And what is the reason why you're there now? Looks like training, maybe. Mm-hmm. So as you, I'm in a school. You're in a school. So take a look at yourself and tell me what your body looks like in this place. I feel like I'm light in this place. Mm-hmm. I don't really have a body. You're a light being? Yeah. Okay. Does it, this light have any color? It's like... It's like white, mm-hmm. yellow. Does it have any particular shape? I feel like I still have hands, but they're like light hands. Mm-hmm. Everything's like light. Now, are those that are in this place with you also light beings, or do they have bodies? It's everything. Mm-hmm. A little of everything. Okay. So tell me about this class that you're in now. Describe it for me. See other people in there, or other light beings? Mm Mm-hmm. Do you recognize them? Do they feel familiar? I don't really recognize them, but I feel like we're the same. Mm Mm-hmm. Trying to think what we're here for. So take a deep breath in and go even deeper into the sleep. Every breath you take allows you to go even deeper. That's right. Just allow yourself to sink deeper and deeper into this knowing, allowing you to connect to all this information. Allow the information to just flow. Just like, just like any other school, just to learn. Mm-hmm. What is the subject that you're learning today? Use your knowing. Learning how to work with energy. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing like water, like the flowing of water or energy or something. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you are to use this information in a lifetime on Earth? It's to help learn how to control the energy, mm-hmm. the flow. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now, as you sit in this classroom, to begin to absorb all of the knowledge that you need. 
Allow it to just flow in. Become part of your knowing. You'll be able to access information at any time just by knowing it. Allow it to just reside in the cells of the body of Joseph. Allowing you to connect with it. Being part of who you are. As you use the energy, the energy won't just know. It is part of you. You are part of it. And tell me when the transmission has been completed. Complete. Very good. Thank you so much. So now I'd like for you to disconnect from that. Allow yourself to disconnect. And now let's go to a dream of the goddess Sekhmet. Allow yourself to drift and float into that time. And tell me where you are. It's like a... It seems like a planet or place somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of blue. Everything seems blue. Mm-hmm. She's like a giant big cat. Mm-hmm. Describe her for me. It's got yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. And as you view this, I'd like for you to view yourself and tell me what you look like on this planet. I think I'm a cat too. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself for me. I seem like I think I'm blue. Mm -hmm. I just keep getting blue. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body. Describe your body for me. It's definitely like a cat body. Mm -hmm. Are you on two legs or four legs? weird because I feel like she's on four legs but mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be maybe mm -hmm. I can't really see allow yourself to walk and tell me what it feels like to walk two legs two legs very good so what is the purpose of being here today what do you need to know I just feel like it's a planet of very wise beings. Mm -hmm. And they're very loving. Very high vibe. Mm -hmm. What do you need to remember from this planet? The love. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to soak in this love. Remember it. The whole planet's love just vibrates. Mm -hmm. Absorb it into every fiber of your being. Is there anything else you need to remember from this planet? I think that's it. Very good. So allow yourself to disconnect from that now. Allow yourself to disconnect completely from this blue planet. And now, let's go to see Dalmu. She's on Earth. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. She's beautiful. Describe her to me. She's 
a white skin. Mm-hmm. She like emanates like light. Mm-hmm. She's um, helping the earth. Mm-hmm. Helping hold the vibe. And as you are before her, do you have a body there? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So let's find out the reason why you're there with her today. Connect with her telepathically and see if there's a message from Dalmu for you today. She's assisting me. Mm-hmm. She's helping me. Very good. So she helps you on your assignment? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. So let's disconnect now from Dao Mu. And let's continue to travel through time and space. I'd like for you to see now what it is that you do when you go to sleep at night and close your eyes, I'd like for you now to use your senses to begin to lift and rise out of that body. And let's see where you go when you sleep. Be in the moment. I feel like I'm helping in the astrals. Mm-hmm. Clear out. There's a lot of negativity there. Mm-hmm. Let's see how it is that you do it. A lot of negative thought forms. Mm-hmm. What do you do when you encounter a negative thought form? Just neutralize it. Mm-hmm. Helps clean up the atmosphere around the planet. Mm-hmm. Do you ever leave Earth? Or are you just doing this on Earth? I feel like I'm just here for now to help here. Very good. So let's find out the reason why it is that Joe does not remember his work. What is the reason why you have chosen not to remember? I just feel like I'm blocked, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why Joe needs to remember what he does at night? I don't think it matters, Mm -hmm. as long as it's working. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, he wants to be able to expand his third eye, his intuition, have more precognitive dreams from time to time. How can he do that? What can we do today to assist him? I feel like he has something in his back of his neck. Mm-hmm. Take a look and do a scan. and Tension and, and blockage. All right. Let's find out what that is. Is that something that Joe has created in the back of his head or something that has been placed there or an attachment? Take a look, do a scan, and identify what that is. I feel like it's, it's in the back of my neck, like... Mm-hmm. Upper back, like shoulders, mm-hmm. like let's back there. Out. Let's find out what that is. It's like some kind of sphere. Mm-hmm. It's black. It's black. It <clears throat> rotates. So let's see where that sphere came from. I'd like for you to hone in on that sphere. And let's find out if that sphere is something that came with Joe in this lifetime or has attached to him. Let's find out the origin of that sphere. I feel like it was put there by somebody. All right. So now we're going to identify who that was that put that sphere there. 
I'd like for you now to go through time and space and find who is the one who put that sphere there. Was it in this lifetime or a different lifetime? I feel like it was this lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's definitely not a good entity that put it there. All right. So I'd like for you now to go and begin to identify that entity. I'd like for you to follow the energy back to that entity that put it there. It's insectoid. Mm -hmm. Identify this insectoid. I guess it's a mantis. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this is a free will planet. Has Joe agreed to have this fear on his neck? No. No. All right. Let's identify and see what that sphere does to him. Just stops the energy. Mm -hmm. All right. Cuts it off. Cuts it off. So this energy, this fear is actually keeping him from doing the mission that he came here to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So the only one who can remove that sphere is the one who put it there. So I'd like for you to go ahead and address this insectoid face to face. And I'd like for you to tell that insectoid to remove that sphere. I asked him nicely. Mm -hmm. He doesn't seem to care. Well, it doesn't matter if he cares or not. This is your body. This is your mission. This is your demand. He's not happy. Mm -hmm. He has no say in this. You tell him what he needs to do. You tell him to remove it now. He's removing it. Very good. Unwillingly. Well, it's your will. It's not his. I see yeah. he's using some kind of tool. Mm-hmm. It's like some kind of wand with a light that comes out of it. Mm -hmm. It's like an electric light bolt. Very good. Tell him to he's, remove everything. He's zapping it. And tell me when he's done with it. It's done. Very good. Now I'd like for you to address this insectoid and tell him that he is not to do that again. Told him. Mm -hmm. What did he tell you? He won't. Very good. All right. So I'd like for you to disconnect from that. <clears throat> and I'd like for you to see if there's any other energy, any residue from this insectoid in your neck or any other part of your body. I feel like something in my short elbow, mm -hmm. my left elbow. All right. Before we get to that left elbow, I want you to go ahead and test your energy. I'd like for you to feel that energy that you came here with to zap the inner, to zap the negativity and go ahead and begin filling in that space that was taken by that sphere and go ahead and begin to fill that space with that source energy. Just filling it with light. Very good. Tell me how that feels. It feels good. Very good. I feel like you know, more energy can flow. Mm -hmm. Good. So now let's do the scan of the rest of the body and let's keep going and see where it is that the next blockage is. Take a look at your elbows. You said you found something there. I 
felt like something might be in my left elbow. Mm -hmm. Maybe my right knee. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. I'd like for you to focus almost like on a microscopic level and see what's there. What's in that elbow? I think there's something there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is. Dive deeper into it. What does it look like? I got a light. Mm -hmm. What is the source of this light? Where is it coming from? Maybe a person, maybe? Mm -hmm. But let's find out who that person is. Spirit. Let's find out who that is. Let's address that spirit. I'd like to bring that spirit up. Bring that energy up, 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 up. And you can now speak. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Don. Don, how old are you? 24. Mm -hmm. And Don, what happened to your body? Feel like a drug overdose? Mm -hmm. What year is it for you? 94. Mm -hmm. So, what happened to you once you left that body behind? That drug induced death? Just floated around. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you found Joe? He was bright. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing to him this whole time? Wasn't a worry. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this? How old was he when you found him? Twenty something, maybe. Really. Mm -hmm. So all that time you've been causing him worry. Yep. Anything else? Doubt. Mm -hmm. Did you use him to get it fixed? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what is it that happened that he's no longer giving you that fix, Don? He's growing. Mm -hmm. But you haven't grown yourself. I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help you today, Don? Yes. Now, when we found you, you were a little light there. Do you know that you have this light within you? Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to focus on that light now, Don. And I'd like for you to make that light bigger. Tell me how it feels as you make that light bigger and bigger. It feels nice. Mm -hmm. Now make it even bigger. Make it as big as a star. That's how big you are. feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Is there any reason for you to continue having to attach yourself to this body when you are a star yourself? No. No. So what would you like to tell Joe about what you've been doing to him all this time, making him worry and doubt? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Joe, do you forgive Don for doing this? Yes. Are we ready to send him off to the light? Yeah. Good. So take a deep breath in. Don, I'd like for you to now look within to that light, and this is your way home. I'd like for you to now follow this light all the way back to Source, back to Prime Creator, and tell me when you get there. I'm there. What do you see? Archangel Michael. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? Don't worry. Very good. I'd like for you to go ahead and follow him. And he's going to take you straight home. Thank you so much. Tom, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And now, I'd like for go, you to go ahead and use that same light that you came here to zap all that negativity and go ahead and fill that space where Don was with that beautiful energy that you carry. Fill it with light. And tell me when it's completely sealed. It's done. Very good. Let's continue through the body and see if there's any other areas that are showing some sort of resistance, some movement, something that's not right. It's hard to tell, but I feel like my right knee. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that right knee and see what's there. I feel like there's something yellow there. Mm -hmm. Go down deeper and identify what that yellow is. It looks like a... I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's like yellow with green. Like looks like a beetle almost, like a, like a shape of a beetle, but mm -hmm. not a beetle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Is it something that's organic or metallic or energetic? Does it have a consciousness? Not sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's bring that energy up. I'm going to put my hand over that knee. And let's bring that energy up so it has a voice. Up, 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 and you can speak now. What are you? Say the name. Mm -hmm. Something with an S. Mm -hmm. Are you an entity? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where do you come from? Another dimension. Mm -hmm. How is it that you were able to get through this dimension and find your way into his knee? There was a portal opened. Mm -hmm. I was able to get through. And why, Joe? What is it about him? His light. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you need the light? What are you getting from him? Energy. Mm. What kind of a form are you? Ancient. Mm -hmm. Very me. old. Very old. And how is it that you travel? Like a parasite. Mm -hmm. Do you have any anything to do with the parasites that he had in his body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's like a physical manifestation of it. Mm -hmm. To tie to hook to ground into this dimension. Mm -hmm. Are you still sending parasites into his body? Trying, but he's fighting it. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you need to hook into this dimension? What's so important about it? It's just the energy. Mm -hmm. Do you know that you have energy within? No. Mm, you do. Everything that has been created has a spark of light. This light comes from Creator. Take a look and see if you could find your spark of light. I see it. Mm -hmm. Now make it bigger. How does that feel? Strange. Mm -hmm. Is this the energy you were looking for? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to amplify that energy now. Make it even bigger. Tell me what happens to you. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Very good. I forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Are you ready now to go back to that light? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go through his body and remove anything that you have anchored into his body. I'd like for you to now begin to pull from the roots everything that you have put into his body. Just pulling from my legs mm -hmm. and my intestines. Mm -hmm. Pull everything out and bring it into that light. Pull it all out. Don't leave anything in. And tell me when you're done. It's done. Very good. So I'd like to call in my team. These are my team of angels. I'd like for them now to surround you and shine their light on you. And tell me what they tell you. They're beaming me. Mm-hmm. Filling in all the, the gaps. Very good. And when they're done, I'd like for them to go ahead and take you right back out through that portal. Back to source. It's done. Very good. So now I'd like for you to go through your entire body and zap that energy that you came here with, that magnificent, powerful energy. And let's begin from the head all the way down to your toes, filling in all of the spaces where all of this darkness resided, this parasitic darkness. Fill it all in. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's continue scanning the body and see how the body looks now. I think I'm good. Very good. So now that we have these parasites out of his body, he has questions about the occasional gout that he's had, the joint pain. Does this have anything to do with any of these attachments? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, it, partially. Mm -hmm. And also for him to learn. What is he learning every time he gets a, 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 a bout of gout? <laughs> it's to steer him the right way. Mm -hmm. What direction do you want to steer him in? The spiritual direction. Mm -hmm. Well, he seems to be going in that direction now. Yeah, he's been doing really well. Mm -hmm. What does he need to focus on? Because you've taken away his job, and now he needs to focus on something else. He needs to be a healer. Mm -hmm. That's what he is. Does he know how to heal? Yes. Mm -hmm. So as a healer, does he need to be in, in any type of diet in order for him to be more effective? He knows. Mm -hmm. He's doing it. He's, he's just, he's working his way to it. He is. Okay. Anything that he should definitely not be touching in his body? Beef. No beef. And GMOs. Mm hmm What do they do to his body? They just clog everything up. Mm hmm Lower his vibe. Okay. He feels it. Mm-hmm. Anything else that is affecting him that he needs to know about? He needs to stay away from sugar. Mm -hmm. Even the occasional sugar. Stay away from the cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard not, one. Not too many cannoli. <laughs> Good. So he's thought of manifesting a healing center. Is this realistic? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what does he need to do? What can get him started on this? He needs to start small. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen overnight. He needs to... He may have to 
work or some other job for a little while mm -hmm. and then start doing this at the same time and eventually he'll just do that good good and when you say about a healing center will he be the center of it or will he be ha having other healers there with him I think he wants to grow it to where there will be more people mm -hmm. or be a place where people can go yes and get multiple types of healing mm -hmm. from different people good and technology so can you tell me now who is working with him because we already saw that he had one angel that came with him who else is working with him on the spiritual realm Raphael, mm -hmm. Michael, Ezekiel, mm -hmm. do these angels have particular roles in his life to help him with? They help balance him out. Mm -hmm. So when he does his work, they're helping him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, today we did some work where he himself used the energy. Was Raphael assisting him with this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. So can he call on Raphael in the future when he does his healing work? Yes. Good. Can you tell me what Archangel Michael does in his life? How does he help him? Protects him mm -hmm. from negativity mm -hmm. and doubts. Helps keep him straight. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? Good. Good. And what about Ezekiel? What's his job at this? I feel like he's, he's just helping balancing him mm -hmm. somehow. Good. What about Sandalfin? We saw how that angel came before this lifetime. He's like his guide. Mm -hmm. His main guide. Good. Any messages from any of these angels today? Stop worrying about things. Everything will be fine. Good. He seems to do a lot of traveling in different spaceships. Yes. Mm -hmm. He asked about the new earth. Will he be or is he part of the new earth? Because he says he feels pretty galactic. He is, but he can choose. Mm-hmm. So what is he living now? Is he part of the new earth now? He's helping to bring it in. Okay, good. Is that his mission? Yep, part of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says that he has seen many dreams in which there's a lot of flooding. What is this all about? Is this a metaphor or has he been seeing events it's a metaphor mm -hmm. what is the metaphor it's the energy is washing in mm. and changing and he's been feeling the waves they come and go mm -hmm. each wave comes and it changes you and he survives it yes mm -hmm. good so knowing that this is just the energy will he be ascending in this lifetime with his physical body I think so. Okay, good. So there's not going to be much of a physical change? No. Good. Do you feel that as he is uh, acclimating to these energies that are coming in, that his body is just uh, changing with the energies? It's adjusting. It's adjusting. Very good. Very Everybody's good. the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
Now, he's told me that he wasn't able to sleep in the last couple of days. He's been getting a lot of energy. What's going on right now? It's a lot of energies mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. It's affecting everybody. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that we need to know about these energies? Just ground. Mm -hmm. Ground it to the earth. Good. Will that allow people to sleep better? It should. Okay. Good. Now, I know that Joe has come from a long way to see me. What is the reason you brought him here? He needed to be reinforced mm -hmm. and he needed to remove some blockages. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Okay. How does he look now? I'd like for you to check his chakras, his aura, and see if there's any work that needs to be done there. It's looking good. Looking he good. just has to practice with the energy. Good. Now, is there any question that I didn't ask that you would like to tell him more? Anything else you'd like to tell him? So you're doing good. And not to worry. Very good. Very good. Thank you Everything so much. Everything will work out. Good. Are there any other messages for anybody else that would that they would like to give him? Any of his angels, guides, ancestors? No, they're just they're all just watching the show. Mm hmm Waiting for everything to happen. Good. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Very good. I'd like to thank Back here and now, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah, I feel you like got I could, that body. I could flow right out of here. <laughs> Let's switch these up. Let's give you these to ground you. How long do you think you were on this path, this on this journey? How did it feel to you? Like an hour. Mm. An hour and 40 minutes. Wow. Pretty good, huh? What do you remember? I think I remember all of it. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Really good. The love, the feeling of love is amazing. Isn't that something? You felt that a few times. Oh. I've been feeling it like lately, mm -hmm. but right there was so powerful. You felt it from two different cats, from the first one that you saw, and then I think they were the, the same. You think they're the same? I think so. Same soul? Yeah. Yeah, one came in one lifetime and the other one was on a different planet. Very cool. It was a weird planet. It was blue. Blue. Everything was blue. Mm hmm Strange. Yeah, I've come across that planet before. It's yeah. really un uh, really interesting. Even the even the cat, the people are blue. Yes. Everybody's blue. Everything's yeah. just blue. Mm hmm Yeah. It's very it's, interesting. Isn't that interesting? So what did what did you feel you got from it? Feel good? I feel great. Your energy? My energy is great. I, the blockage felt amazing to get that out. Isn't that interesting? I felt like I had... I, I, I didn't really feel it. Like, I knew something was there. And, and my arm has been hurting there a lot, too. I've been having, like, like a tennis elbow, so I thought. Mm -hmm. And then my leg and knee, I've always, I just felt really heavy there. That's where like, the parasites were coming Yeah, from. and like, like, all here. Mm -hmm. And then my neck, of course, that always have neck, like... Constantly. That was that was a nasty one. That was bad. That was the insectoid. Yeah, that was a bad one they put there. Mm hmm That was almost like a blocking, tracking. It was it's just to keep me down. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't want any good to happen. Mm hmm So is this something you want to keep private, or you want to share some of this? Okay. No, I'll share it. Yeah. I don't Maybe think it was too private, right? No, oh, I always take out any of the private stuff anyway. Any questions? Yeah, no, I'll share it. I mean, I've watched so many other videos, and I want people to learn. <laughs> you always learn something, right? Yeah, everybody can learn from everything. Yeah, good. So? That was great. It was good, huh? That was amazing. It was so detailed, even though you felt it wasn't as detailed, I think, during, while you are doing it, but it was really good. I, I just remember you telling me to focus on your voice. Yeah. And then you just have to, whatever you let, you let yourself flow. Yeah. And just see what comes to you. So tell everybody how it feels to be in mm. hypnosis because this was your first time right it's my first time i've never done this before all right so tell them what you how you first of all how you prepared for it 
How did you prepare for this? I just meditated. I listened to your meditations and some of my own. Uh huh. And I mean, I've been doing that anyway. But just to get relaxed. It's all about being relaxed. Mm hmm. Because I was very tense when I came in here. And then slowly just work through it. Uh huh. And it just, you get deeper and deeper and you just breathe and it just keeps, it was amazing how it just melted away. All the isn't, isn't that something how it is? And I feel great now. And do you feel, because you're an engineer, do you feel like you have an analytical mind? Yes. Yeah. I analyze everything. Yeah. So how did, did that have a problem? Do you have a problem with that? No, I just accepted the, the process. Yeah. I sat there and, you know, in the beginning I just wanted, I was just seeing how it went. Mm -hmm. And at first I was a little like, oh, is this, is this really happening or is this mm -hmm. just me making it up? <laughs> and that's what everybody always says. And then it's like, but wait, but then it just keeps coming to you. Yeah, then, like why would you make that up? It doesn't, and then just if you if you're not sure, you just kind of ask yourself, and then the answer mm -hmm. just pops in your head. And that's it just keeps it, flowing. That's how it is, and and you got a lot of answers, yeah. and, and some of the stuff was pretty bizarre. It was right. <laughs> it was. So um, I know that you want to do this this healing center. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to start, but just start off small and then work mm -hmm. your way up. Yeah. So. And that's what we're we're here to do. We're everybody has come here on assignment. We we all have our own assignments, and we are put. And that was one of the questions: why we chose your family. It was it, it was in the place that was dark. Right, it's location. We're all spread out all over the planet, mm -hmm. and we all have our beacons of light all over. Yeah, and that's really the main point, right? And then we learn our lessons too. It's right. like a lot of stuff happening at once. So people say, you know, say to me, well, I'm very lonely. Uh, you know, there's nobody around me like this. Well, you're the light. You're, you're, where else would you put a light? Right. Where if we're all in the same place, then everybody else is dark. Exactly. So we have to understand that that is our assignment to come here and spread the light. So in those places that people really hate to be in, it's almost the places where you need mm -hmm. to go, you know, shopping centers and yep. things like that. Just walk through the shopping center and just send them your light. Just that's, walking around sometimes, you're just beaming energy to everybody. They don't that's all it is. It. That's all it is. You just have to be. You don't have to do anything. You just have right. to be. You just have to be. That's it. Just be happy. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. Don't be miserable if as you're miserable doing. and negative. Yeah, then it's, you're going to lower your light. And then yeah, you're not going to help anyone. So how do you feel this is this has helped you or changed it's you? It's definitely helped me a lot. I feel I feel really good. I needed to come here. That's and great. Then, Would you recommend this to other people? Recommend it. And where are you from? Long Island, New York. There you go. So he came all the way down here. We're in Miami today. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website albaweinman.com. Sign up for my newsletter, and once that newsletter comes out, which is about once a month, as soon as you get it, click on those links, you'll see where the calendars are, where I'm going to be, and you have to be fast. Don't give up. You'll get one. <laughs> Thank you one. for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank I hope you. I get to meet you, too. Thank you all.